DC here. Hi guys. Well, we got a special video today. I'm going to have a chat with my dad and he's going to tell us a little bit about making maple syrup. And uh, the way that he makes maple syrup uh, is pretty special because he does it at home. Uh, he used to do it on the farm, but now he doesn't live in a farm. He lives in the city. And so he uses the maples around uh, his neighborhood or east, and uh, he used to do that at least, and to make maple syrup now, so city maple syrup. Okay, Daddy, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, your past, or maybe how you do it, how you make the maple syrup. Good morning. I'm going to try to do my best to explain to you how the sugaring work here. Around the 15th of March, the the end of April, that's the sugaring season. This year, it's about two weeks earlier it's because we didn't have a really a, a winter here. Okay. Can I... First thing we do, when the weather is nice, to have a nice run of sap, we get to have freeze about minus five to minus ten in the night, Celsius, and then a sun day, a sunny day, but not too strong, shady a little bit. Okay. And it will run better. When the sun is too strong, it quit fast. Okay, I'm going to have to cut in now, and I'm going to ask you when the weather is like that, that is when you actually Board of holes. I was coming to. Okay. Now, what bring me to say, it's the time to sugar in when the weather is getting to be two, three days like that. Mm -hmm. We use a, a drill, a hand drill, with a special drill for tapping the hole in the tree. Yep. Planting the spout, what we call it. Okay. Okay. And we hook a bucket on it, and then the sap start to, when it start to run good is dip, 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 dip. That's the distance of the sap coming in the bucket. That's a good day. Okay. A question there is that in one day do you fill the bucket? Well, if the weather is good. In town here, it's not like in the country. It's slowed down faster. But this year, it seems to be like in the country. It almost spilled four liters per bucket. Okay, now I, I have to tell you just quickly that as the time moves on, because we have maximum 10 minutes for this. Now, after you've got the sap, you collect it. And then you have your, uh, we're going to show pictures of this, you have your own home system for boiling. Now, yes. how much do you have to boil that sap to make uh, maple syrup? Well, for maple uh, a liter of syrup, it takes 40 liter of sap. Okay, so that's, uh, that's 40 to 1, yeah. 40 to 1. You get to start to boil in the... In both pan and uh, fire over the fire, and then as it go, the time go, you take the liquid of the bigger pan and put it in a smaller pan, and then it gets so it's going to be in syrup. You don't mix it, and then you reduce what you got in a small pan, and we get a tester. We test 32 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, cent uh, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit yeah. hot, and 36 cold. That's set up. Okay. And we test, the sap we test, but not the tester, is 2 to 5 degrees. Okay, now listen, what we're going to do, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put some pictures on my screen and then you will be able to see these pictures and you'll be able to comment quickly. Yes. So I'm going to pause. Okay, so this is a picture of my dad when he's getting ready to do the tapping. So maybe you can now comment on this? What I got on my left hand is what we call in French a ville braquin. It's a, 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 a drill 
the first a hole in a tree about an inch deep. And then we, we plant a spell in it, which we hook a bucket in it. Okay, so... I was going to say, so then I will go down to the next picture. I'm, I'm getting ready to drill a hole in the tree. Okay. You this can... tree, we could hook 10 to 12 buckets in it. It's That's... a giant tree. Okay, we'll see a picture of that in a second. That's so one of the buckets hook on it. Today it's about for 10 buckets. Actually, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of ac actually potential maple syrup coming from that tree. Yes. Okay, so I'll go move on to another picture. Okay. Wait. So you can comment on this one now. Yes, that's how it looked like when the spout is set on a tree. Okay, so now, we have... We just have to wait... The sap coming and good, yeah. That's a nice picture. It actually does show exactly what is happening. That the water is falling from the tree through the spout and into the bucket. Which we call sap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here actually uh, we're in my dad's garage. And uh, that's his little mini setup for making his home maple syrup. Now, actually, I'll let you continue to comment. Right now, I got a kettle, a giant kettle, to set in it because we do the finishing. Okay, so so on the one side, where there's the where's the uh, the square uh, the square container with the th is that the thermometer uh, on the side? Yeah, that's a thermometer. And one is uh, at the right point. I, I don't trust it quickly. I check it with my pistol. Okay. So you start boiling and then you move it over there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll stop. As you see, I got my TV to follow my program. Well, that's good. I mean, real luxury there. Just a minute. We'll go to another picture now. So. Okay. This is two maple trees beside our garage. Yeah, that's nice. So you had some, at one point you had some all over the neighborhood actually. One year I had 150 bucket of up. And we're talking here, let's not forget, this is in the city. So this was that's like a, city. yeah. I refuse a lot. Okay. So. Our street is called, the, the Boulevard des Arabes in French, mean Boulevard. Of the maple tree. Right. Okay. So I'm. So okay. This setup is to string the sap. So if there's any bark fall with the sap, all that is collected, and then the sap is clean. Okay, that's very interesting as well. It makes me think when I make my uh, my apple juice, you have to filter it as well. Yeah. Okay, so actually what we see here, that was with the uh, granddaughters and they're going with a little tractor from tree to tree picking up the uh, the sap. Okay, but here actually, so this is a picture with maple syrup from, I guess that year, so you can talk about that actually. Uh, so this is about a liter? That's a liter. So the thing, so this... 2001. Okay, so that is comes from, as you said, 40 liters, 40 liters of water, of sap. Now, yes. 2009. Okay, 2009, as he just said now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this was actually very interesting. I'm, I know there would be a lot more to show, but we just don't have all that much time on YouTube. It's maximum 10 minutes, so we'll see how it works out. And I'm glad uh, that you managed to show this. If, uh, if uh, you want, maybe we can do another video sometime on some other subject. But uh, this was actually a very interesting one. A lot of people know maple syrup, but they don't actually always know how it's made. So thank you very much. And uh, this will be DC and his dad signing off. Take care, and bye-bye, everybody.
Bye. Bye. Allez, je vais te trouver. Je vais te trouver un mec.